Wow, if there's a lesson that I have really struggled <laughs> and um, to get even the strength is this lesson 95. Why? Because it is exposing my mistakes, is exposing my weaknesses when it comes to trading. And um, it's just to show you that I'm not even perfect. I'm perfecting my art in trading. And sometimes you will ignore or assume some things that will cost you so much. I was thinking, do I really need to do this lesson 95? And I believe the term lesson is what you have learned throughout the, throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout the month. And this is my lesson, guys. This is my lesson. I want to come in candid with you all and let us <laughs> see where we went wrong on the GBP USD, the Euro USD, and the Audi USD that I was so confident that we'll sell. So as we speak, I have already cut my losses. And let me tell you, it was not a small loss. I had already... I was on a very big lot and you know there's a way you can see the market and you know it's either I take a loss or I blew that account so for me I've decided to cut the losses and this is something that I want you to also to decide for yourself if you had entered the sale I want you to make a decision I'm not doing this video to tell you to cut your losses I just want you to make a decision why because as as long as you're watching me you're doing you're doing your background analysis for me I've, there's there's the way I teach you and then the decision you make it for yourself so for me uh I believe that uh I will remember this day many many years to come I will look back and come to this video, this lesson 95. I'll come back to this video many, many years to come and I will see I was ready to share my, my weaknesses, my, my mistakes with everyone. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's very saddening. It's not it's not something to rejoice when you tell everyone the market will sell and then it slaps on your face and it buys, it's not something good. But I think we are mature enough to know that Forex, it's either you make money or you lose money or you break even. So that's something that we have in mind. And to make this video just to, <laughs> to tell you that the big mistake that I did in these pairs, let me tell you, it is mind Blowing. So we were doing um, analysis on GBP USD. I was on this pair. Hey, you can see how it bought. So we had this double top that gave us confidence because it was not on the weekly. And you see, the strategy actually works. It's just that we didn't we didn't follow it to the letter. The strategy works exactly how the Holy Spirit has revealed. And you see, when you make mistakes, you need to learn from the mistakes so that you don't repeat again. I have stared for this chart for a whole day, just looking at it and telling God, show me where I went wrong. And it was so obvious. We entered because of this red candle engulfing this double top. But as we were entering this market around here, when you flip on four hour, there's already a double bottom. So this is a double bottom that made everything not work for us. I want you to understand that. I don't want you to be discouraged with everything you have learned. And you know the work of the enemy, what he does. When you learn all the lessons, we are in lesson 94, now is lesson 95. He wants to water all what you have learned by discouraging us, by showing us we have not done anything. And this is what made everything um, go here, right? that double bottom. And I want to show you the reason why I was telling you uh, it's just an obstacle. This double bottom was not on the daily, meaning it had power. It was holding a lot of power. And that's I assumed, which, you know, in the market, if you assume something, you will pay dearly. So this double bottom, was not on the daily. You see, 
was not on the daily. And because it was not on the daily, it means it was so powerful. So even if we wanted to start looking for sell opportunities, we would first come into conclusion that this double bottom, if it works, it will gonna go all that distance. So even when the market is at this place, you're still waiting for, you're still waiting for now a new setup. And the setup is the double, the double top on the weekly time frame. That is the setup that we are waiting for. So you you'll still not enter your cell. That could have prevented us. The reason why I was telling you that this double bottom is still, it's not something to pay attention on. I was trading also GBP, JPY, and we had this double, we had this double bottom. See this double bottom? And that's where the confidence was. So I had this double bottom on GBP, JPY. I had this double bottom and this double bottom happened to be only on one time frame, which is daily. So it's like you have a double bottom on daily, weekly we didn't have a double bottom and we were waiting for the market either to give me a bullish angle and then they break half, I enter again. But you see guys, when the market gave me, um, when I was waiting for this market to give me a setup, this is what happened. I was never given a, a bullish angle. So the market comes like that, didn't give me a bullish angle. What did it do? It breaks our half. So daily is telling us it's okay to enter up to a neckline, which is 152 pips. So when I turn on the four hour, the market had already activated a double top. And if you don't understand that this is what will be happening every single day, like this is what the market will be doing. The market will always, always activate, always activate new patterns. So I was asking the Holy Spirit, how will we be trading the activated patterns after a, a, confirmed, a confirmed entry? What I mean is that daily can tell you to buy, but four hours is telling you to sell. How do you separate the two? And that's what has been missing in my analysis, guys. And let me tell you from the loss that I took, from the, the discouragement that I felt, I got a new way to trade. And this one, I have to combine it. I have to back test it. I have to come up with a name so that I first present it to my, to my students. You see, many people don't understand. By the time I'm coming here to teach you CRB strategy, CSB strategy, WBB, BWA, all these strategies, you have to notice that I have been, <laughs> I have lost, I have lost so many times for me to realize a strategy. And I don't know why the Holy Spirit makes me lose for me to get something in my head he tries to speak and i don't sometimes listen i don't sometimes hear him and the only way he uses is for me to to lose to have a big blow so daily very clear by very clear by four hour is telling me to four is telling me to to sell and the question is this is what i was saying the double top is just an obstacle for me that's what i've been trading for me i know uh, i can just place my buy trade eventually the market will go up and i'll come and and i assume this double top and i do long position and i buy why i'm thinking this double top can be a cup and handle you see can you just have that one mindset of how you're trading? And I think with GBPUSD, what it has done, it has birthed a new way of trading this pattern. I even don't have a name on that 
new strategy. I don't even, I don't know how I'll call it. So you can imagine, for me, I was so much glued in the buy. Why? Because even daily has given me a buy. And to my surprise, I placed that buy trade. So that's a buy trade I'm having. And the market should go to the half or first to the neckline. I placed that buy and the market does not disappoint me and it does according to how daily was saying. So you see, markets will never be the same. So according to the, this GBP, JPY, this is a trade that I was in. It obeyed which strategy? It obeyed the double bottom on daily. It obeyed that double bottom and continued. The obstacle that came in by was not holding any water. So to me, I thought even GBPUSD is the same. We have the double bottom, the double top that is our bigger picture. And the obstacle is this double bottom that is trying to misdirect us. But what has happened, the market seems to follow the double bottom that was an obstacle because market will never be the same. Another example is Euro JPY. So I was trading Euro JPY and um, it had broken half. So Euro JPY had this double bottom. I want to show you the power of understanding what the market is doing. Why? Because we have to be very alert. You see, we are dealing with money here and everyone wants this money. And whoever gets the money is whoever is smart. So for a moment, I was not smart. For a moment, I was not smart. So the market breaks the half. So the market breaks the half like that. And we are thinking, oh, because the half has been broken, I'll come to four hour, come to four hour and do what? And continue to buy. You see, there's an obstacle around here where the market can activate a new pattern, which is a, a double top. So even if you buy, you're buying with the mind of the market can activate that double top. And guess what happens? The market activate that double top. The question is, will they follow the daily double bottom that is only on, on one time frame? Will they follow that daily double bottom or will they follow the new pattern? That is the question, guys. And you have to notice when you're dealing with two patterns in in at a goal, like daily, I don't know even how I can explain to you guys. And that's why I need you to come to my class. These things, I can only coach you one on one because I will even use vernacular. I will use Kikuyu, Kiswahili, all the languages for you to understand. If you can only understand some things that happen that are triggers, because the minute the market has broken like this, already we are being triggered to buy. But this is an obstacle that I was telling you. They're just giving this obstacle. The question is, or what I have discovered is, how do you deal with this obstacle? And that's how I've answered from the loss that I have took. So how do you deal with that obstacle? How will this be? used as a cap and handle to support the buy, continuation of a buy? Will it be used as a cap and handle? How do you deal with an obstacle that come after a pattern has been given out? Because these obstacles as the ones that determine if this market will be, will buy or not. Because this obstacle that is a double top can either can either buy or sell because if it buys, it gives us a cap and handle. If it sells, it gives us a what? It gives us a complete sell. So if it buys, it supports daily. If it sells, it violates daily. So the question is, how do we solve this?
and it is easier, guys. You just use CRB, just use CRB support, uh, support break, and you put like that. Notice when you're doing support break, you want the market to either break the side, you, you're not, and you see, you put your support break or your first attempt to break. Your first attempt to break gives you cup and handle. Your support breaks gives you a, a double top. And the thing is, we are not trying to trade in between. Here is where the next mistake I was doing. I was just placing my buy because daily has told me to buy. So as I'm placing my buy trade, what happens? I'm in the masses of the market because it can either turn either way. So as any obstacle, they have designed the obstacle to either buy or sell. That's what you should do. The obstacle star challenge, I don't know if I call it the obstacle challenge. <laughs> it's very interesting. The obstacle is a pattern that comes immediately after you've been given a go ahead to buy or sell. So they know majority will be biased because of the daily double bottom, majority will come with the mindset of buy. And then they know majority who are seeing this double top, they will start looking for sell. So nobody is sure if the market will buy or sell. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes losing money, it opens your eyes. Many people ask me, how is your eyes are open? Sometimes it's by losing. The Bible says that everything that you have lost, you will get it seven times, seven times bigger. So anytime you're losing the market, you have not lost. They have just given you opportunity to earn more and given you opportunity to learn more. So when you lose in the market, it's not time to, to feel bad. Yes, you'll feel bad with your human beings. But for me, I want us to be dealing with losses in a better way. So the question is, when you're here <laughs> and the market has given you such a thing, how do you trade it? So if you want to be patient to check where, which direction will this market break, so it comes here and it tells you it has broken the first attempt. But guys, if you're not attentive, they have activated a new double top. So this is still a new double top, guys. So if you're still not attentive, you will think the market is supporting a buy. So they have again activated a buy. So you still say it's either they break our current resistance so you have a double top there that can either give you a cup and handle or a complete double top so the market starts to come down starts to come down and gives you a current support can you see gives us a current support and immediately that current support is broken you already know the decision of the market makers automatically they will sell this market and that's what euro jpy has done euro jpy was a very good sell opportunity when the market broke csb even if you were targeting up to the half you would have gained 42 pips and then half was broken and you continue selling same double bottom with gbp jpy so GBP, JPY, same double bottom, but one reaches to the neckline and Euro JPY fails to reach neckline. So you have to ask yourself, why did Euro JPY fail to reach neckline and the other one reached? So GBP, JPY, same setup, same double bottom. Everything is the same. Double bottom on an uptrend, everything is the same. But the, 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 difference was the obstacle. How did GBP JPY deal with their obstacle? When they activated the double top and we were hoping for the market to break, we were hoping for that market to break that current support, they never broke our current support. And what did they do? They broke our first attempt. So here 
we have our first attempt as our as our door. Our, so we have our first attempt here. So if the market first break first attempt, it means it will buy. It, if it breaks our current resist, our current support, it means it will sell. So whoever comes first, whoever comes first, so current support break, whoever comes first, that's where the market is going. And you see, what we don't have is this patient. We do not have the patient. More so me, I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for myself. You do not have patient. And what happens when you lack patient you suffer the consequences. So let's uh, look at GBPUSD. GBPUSD had this had this double bottom. The only thing we could have said, let's we see what the market will do at the half, and the half get broken. Automatically, you'll know the market is going to the neck. But I was so blinded. For me, I thought with the double top, there's nothing this market can do. So for me, I was left hanging and trusting my first pattern and my second pattern here, the obstacle, because this is pattern two. It's always what is used. And that's what we discussed in some previous lessons. Let's go to Audio SD because I don't want to make this video long. What happened to Audio SD? It's the same thing. Audio SD, we got a double top. That's a double top here. So we get this double top and we get the morning, the evening star there. So we already know this market gonna sell. We already know the market gonna sell. So we come to four hour and guess what we get? We get a what? A double bottom. So every time you have to ask yourself, how do I deal with an obstacle? It's like um, how I'm feeling with this market and the lesson I have learned is like uh, the way you protect your guard. You have a, you're a soldier, you have a gun and you have been taking up that gun and you're protecting the territory or the area and the question is, when the thieves come or the enemy comes, you do not know how to use the gun. And that's what we, we normally do. Yes, you know how to analyze. You know the double, bot, the double top has given you an entry. We have known this is a WBB. We know, yes, the market will sell. Everything is settled. But when the enemy comes, because the obstacle will always be the enemy. You have to understand that the obstacle will always be the enemy. When the enemy comes, we fail to understand how to attack this enemy. And I believe that's what the revelation I've got. The strategy is still new. I have I have a, a step-by-step -step strategy. And I think December students will really enjoy the class. Why? Because I will be sharing my struggles I will be sharing my faults. I'll be sharing my mistakes and I'll tell them, listen, you do not need to do the same mistakes. I think I did this mistake for you all. So that once I do this mistake and I learn from my mistakes, you don't need to do the mistakes again. So you have this obstacle and it's a double bottom. So it's easier. So you have this double bottom and the market. If it breaks half, it will go to the next level. So the market, it's either two things you have said. It's either they break the first attempt. It's either they break the first attempt to give you a go ahead. So if they break this first attempt, it is sure, it is sure bet that that market will sell. Or they break half, they activate a pattern, a new pattern. So they can come here and activate a new pattern, like a double top, and you'll be waiting for current support break. So around this area, we are waiting for current support break. What do I mean by current support break? CSB. The only way to enter this market sell 
if the market gives you a CSB or the breakfast attempt. If they don't, don't dare. Don't dare. So the market has even broken half and it has continued to go down, to go up. So they all of a sudden give you a CSB. Can you see? Not CSB, they give you a current support. They have not broken yet. So it's either two things. If I will sell according to daily, my obstacle need to do one, two, three. Either they break the first attempt or they break the current support break. Guys, I want you to see. And if this is something that you have to notice because I'm speaking like that because I'm teaching myself also. After this video, I will have to watch it because I have to learn from my videos. Have you ever seen someone who learns from their videos? It's me. I have to learn from my videos because sometimes I speak things and I'm thinking, why is that coming from? Why? How, how do I know that? So I need to orient myself also. So you find that the market, if it continues without giving us a current support break and giving us a first attempt, the market will continue. And let's see what happens to, to our Audi USD. The market tends to break current support. And you see, for me, the mistake I was doing, I was so blinded with the daily double top in the entry and I forget about my obstacle. I'm thinking ah, it's just an obstacle because in the past I have done that and it has given me money and I've shown you with examples. So the market fails to break any support. So you come, the market fails to break support. You come here, it fails to break support and it has reached a half and it's on the way first again to break support. You can notice this market has failed to break support and it's on the way. Again, fails to break support and it's on the way up to, and it finishes. So what I'm getting is that they use the obstacle to finish you up. That's what I'm getting from this. So the obstacles becomes so strong because people are so naive like me i was so naive i don't want even to say people i'm saying myself euro usd how did we got mixed on euro usd i want to show you guys it's easier so euro usd was very clear double top very good buy a uh, sell so this one up to here you have your gun you have a very elaborated way and you're told your work is to guide not guide guard this area do not permit anyone to come in you are following instruction you have you're a soldier with a gun you've been told to do a b c d and the only thing they didn't tell you is when the enemy comes how are you supposed to use your gun? Because if you start shooting, you might shoot the owner, you might shoot anybody who is not um, the enemy. So you must have a plan. So up to here, we have a WBB. The market is telling us to sell. But you see on four hours, now the enemy has come in and the enemy is an obstacle, the second pattern. And I told you, I told myself, not I told you, I told myself, that pattern two is very, very strong. I don't know why I forgot last week about pattern two and pattern two is always the enemy. So that is our pattern two. What I need you to understand is that if there's something you will learn from the six videos that I will be posting, today's lesson 95, I'm remaining with five videos. If there's something that I will emphasize is how to deal with obstacles once the market has given you an entry. So, first thing I have said, it's first, if we have to sell according to daily, they have to break our first attempt, why? Because they can give us a cap and handle inverted. So first attempt has to be broken for us to do what? For us to, to get in the trade. So first attempt, 
And the other one, if they activate this double top, they, they give us a current support break. They create support and they break it. So we don't have a problem for them going up unless they break a support area. We are good to go. And I will emphasize this on the five, the next five lessons. And so that all of us, we can understand where we went wrong. So we are not entering this trade because we don't have a current support. For me, I put my first sell limit, I'm activated. So already I'm in the trade. I am biased because already I want the market to sell. And that's the problem, guys. Anytime you enter a sale and it's the wrong timing, you become biased. You will not see anything else apart from the sale. You will not see anything else apart from the sale. In fact, even if someone tells you this market will buy, you will refuse. Why? Because you have placed your trades. You have placed your trades and you do not want to believe that that market can sell. But imagine you had a you you just had you had told yourself it's either this market breaks my first attempt or the market gives me a csb current support current support imagine imagine so current support oh so we were not supposed to be on euro usd so when i was telling you we sell for me, I have traded such markets where the obstacle just reaches here and activates a pattern and comes down. And that's the ignorance. I knew every day it would be the same. That's why I was saying this obstacle, it doesn't hold waters. But wow, wow, the lesson was so tough. So the market continues to go up. And notice the double top that we are thinking the market will activate gets violated. So it means we don't have, have we do not have an entry yet. So we are still looking for current, um, current support and we get a red followed by green. So we have a current support. I want you guys to observe if this current support was broken because if this current support only they broke it, we could have a very clear sell. So the market, didn't break that current support. In fact, where are they breaking? They are breaking above. So they are supporting this buy. So they break above, they come, they create a new current support. Again, tell me if they broke that support. They didn't, they didn't break that support. So what is happening here, we already know that if this double bottom, these are trades that you just observe, and you take notes. Why? Because Euro USD, GBPUSD, and ODSD, I was not, uh, I was not even wanting to buy. I was so blinded to sell. But I wish I never sold. I never sold. I just observed it, learning, taking notes. It would have been better. But you see, you can't learn what you don't know. People don't understand that. So this market is trying to break our neckline. So we have our neckline there. So the market is trying to break our neckline. Notice all along, we do not have a what? A break, we do not have a break. So the market almost breaks that current support and we are happy, but it, it fails to break. And what does it do? It breaks above, it breaks above. And that's what we have. So unless, if you want to tell me that Euro USD, GBP USD will be a sell, we need to see current support break. So if you come to GBPUSD, if you don't see a current support break, that cell has not entered. Why? You can see that current support was never broken. So until they give us a current support, that's when we will, we will think of that cell. How do you see the same? Until we get a current support. So with that being said, guys, with that being said, you have to learn that we did a mistake. Why did the market buy when we were saying it will sell? It's just because the market had a double bottom on another time frame, and that's four hours. So that is it, guys. Uh, you have to really pay attention on your trades. I have told you, for me, I've exited these trades. I will not talk on the GBPUSD again, on U LD USD again. Let me give it time for the monthly candle to close. 
and then we coming back better and stronger. And I'm looking forward for the name. I will give my new strategy. A new strategy has been birthed because if I fail to teach my student this strategy, they will keep making the mistakes that I made. If I can make that mistake with all the knowledge that I have, it means it is very, it's like an eye opener. God is trying to open my eyes to let me know that there are some things that you need to watch out. There are some things you need to watch out. So thank you so much. If you still want to join my mentorship program, which is paid, I charge $400. There is physical class that will start next week on Monday, 4th of December. And the online course is recorded. So you can just WhatsApp me and I can. I can show you how to get the recorded class. So all the best, make decision. If you want to hold the trade, hold. If you want to exit, exit. But for me, I have exited these trades with a big loss and a big lesson. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you. Bye-bye.